SpaceX has lost its first contracted resupply rocket, and it's not yet clear what went wrong during Sunday's launch for the International Space Station. We stopped receiving data at about 2 minutes and 19 seconds from the vehicle. All of the video is being looked at and uh, the telemetry data, so it's still, at this point, uh, it's not clear exactly what happened. NASA's launch live blog reported confirmation of vehicle breakup, but until investigators have a chance to review data, that's as specific as the space agency will get. NASA aircraft are now searching for debris from the rocket, which fell downrange in the Atlantic Ocean. This is the first major blemish on what has been an otherwise stellar early career for SpaceX. Of its now 19 attempted launches to space, 18 have made it, and of those, one has encountered complications thanks to a faulty engine. CRS-1's primary resupply mission to the International Space Station went flawlessly, but a secondary payload from communications company Orbcom fell out of orbit less than four days after it hitched a ride aboard the launch. No, we're not counting SpaceX's experimenting with reusable launch vehicles in this tally. So far, its automatic landings haven't worked out, but each rocket has fulfilled its intended mission first. SpaceX competes in the ISS resupply field with Russia's Progress program, which uses robotic capsules derived from Soyuz tech. 57 of its 59 resupply flights have been successful. The most recent and likely most notable exception is Progress 59, which lost control and eventually burned up before it could reach the ISS. SpaceX is scheduled to start carrying human crews as early as 2017, at which point the stakes get higher. There haven't been crewed launches from the U.S. since the shuttle program ended. In 135 shuttle flights since 1981, four were cut short due to equipment or weather complications. Two failed, resulting in the loss of shuttles and their crews, Challenger in 1986 and Columbia in 2003. The Russian Federal Space Agency has made 58 manned Soyuz flights since 1992 with no fatalities. With two years to go, SpaceX is already preparing its safety measures for manned flights. Last month, it tested the abort rockets built into its crew capsule and anticipates in-flight abort tests later this year. NASA is preparing a press conference for later this afternoon to discuss preliminary findings in its investigation of today's failed launch. On Twitter, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said the company will issue more details when it has a chance to review the launch data. Stay tuned with Newsy for more updates. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.